Hello and welcome. It's Jelly Cube. I'm here in Queensland, Australia. Coming to you today with a, um, it's called an art board. It's a painting board. A uh, smooth wooden surface can be left natural or primed. Suitable for all art media. So they're really nice. Um, I got these from Kmart here in Australia. I think it was about $10. And I'm going to paint on this and then I'm going to resin this board. So um, there'll be a few processes here. So what I did with the board is obviously took it out of the packet and then I've now put my um, masking tape on because I want to leave the edge of this particular piece natural um, and then when I put the resin on it will just be on the top with a natural edge. So I've just got it sitting on this uh, cake cooling tray. So yeah, that's uh, the size is 11 inches by 14 inches, which is uh, 20, 28 centimeters by 35. So uh, they do them. They do do them in different sizes. I've got a real big one up there. So if this turns out as nice as I hope it does, then I'll definitely paint in on the larger one. So what I'll do to begin with is just. I'm just going to do a normal pour over it and um, follow through the stages in it. Ooh, okie doke. And I might just start off with a bit of white and just quickly give it with the sponge brush. So I've got some fluff in. Don't want the fluff. So it's not, um, I'm not giving it a prime and then leaving it. It's just a coat that I would normally maybe just pour on and do the same for a canvas too. So this is just my normal acrylic paint that I'm going to use in my pour. So it goes on nice and smooth, I must admit. So there you go. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Now I'm going to use some really nice bright uplifting colours. This is a little bit runnier than what I would like. Oh, I'm not sure. Yeah, I'm not sure if I want to use that because it's so runny. Let's see if my other yellow is so runny. No, that's not so runny. So I might try this one for the kind of uh, technique I'm doing. I like it to be a bit thicker. So it's just doing the wiggles all over the canvas. It's kind of like a... Um, Jackson Pollock type thing, <laughs> a wiggle all over the canvas. Um, obviously he done it a lot more meaningful and artistic than I. I'm here for the fun and the frolic and the therapy in art. So remember the only rules is there's no rules. That was that was a, a gorgeous um, fluoro orange. So I'm adding a nice red now, like a candy apple red. Gonna have all the lovely, bright, vibrant colours on here. Okey doke. And then I'm gonna go with my ooh, socket to them purple. A nice purple in here. Okay. And some of this lovely uh, turquoise. This is nice and thick, actually. I want to be able to tilt this paint over my canvas that it will just roll over each other without making the colours muddy. Hopefully, fingers crossed. As I said, I'm here for the fun, 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 fun and therapy because I just find it relaxing. I'm going to top. Oh, I'm going to put some nice metallic gold in there so it will just help to give 
everything a really nice shimmer as well because of the metallic in the gold I guess really going over the top here but that's okay no worries just enjoy it okie doke that's them I'll add a little bit of white more white just in a wiggle all over the joint all over the place should I say there you go that's really really give it some <laughs> colour 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 now it's just a nice gentle tilt so, so if you take it nice and slow the colours are just going to run over the top of each other and hopefully with a bit of luck not mix and muddy so I'm just going to run it over my edges down there I mean these look quite nice after they've been tilted all on their own <laughs> don't have to do anything to them it's very nice There's some of my favorite colors in there to paint with just bright and vibrant it is it is till uh, it's sort of pouring slowly because my, I've kept my paints thicker as I mentioned um, it around so this is the reason that I wanted to put that tape on the bottom because I didn't want all the color um, muddying up the back of my nice artboard I think this artboard when it's resined is gonna like pop your socks off look really effective I mean, this being on an art board and resin, could I guess it would be really good to do like a house number on it or a, you know, put in black a name on it for a plaque on a door for a child or, you know, for your office or anyone. <laughs> any reason, any excuse to paint is a good one, I believe. So it's coming up to Christmas, people. I well, know that some people don't give gifts and that's absolutely fine but what better is there to give a gift of something that you've handmade oh this is slow sorry slow slow come on okay there we go I'll just recenter it so I haven't got all the paint sitting in one area okay look at those colors that's so nice so nice rightio i am definitely going to do a swipe as my next stage and i'm going to swipe with a piece of soft plastic file that's been used over and over again this painting here is um black black acrylic amsterdam paint just mixed with flow troll only so it will help give me some nice cells so I'm gonna just start here there and everywhere just nice and slowly oh my goodness I'm hoping to get some lovely gems because there's all those colors in there absolutely beautiful so when I bring you down you will see what I mean Oop, nice and slow Take your time, no hurry. Oh, it's just looking beautiful. Really got lots of gem-like cells in there. 
Get a bit of a hit with the heat one. Bring them all up. It helps get rid of the air bubbles and also helps the cells come up. Right here, I'm going to bring you down to have a look at these gorgeous cells and then I'm actually going to leave this one to dry, believe it or not. Yeah, look at these gorgeous gem-like cells, really beautiful. It's see uh, all the colours are now coming through and they're definitely not muddy. They've just given a really super duper effect. That's a bit flat there, but I expect as it dries, the more cells will pop out. There's a bit of a blank spot, but that doesn't matter because what I'm doing with it next, after it's dry. So I just wanted to show you these gorgeous cells. Okay, on with the next step. Okay, I made a boo-boo and while I was trying to do these kind of window arches, um, I didn't get it looking very good at all. Uh, I have to practice at this, but I did put a coat of the resin with a bit of the dragonfly glazing. I don't know if you can see the shimmer in there. Um, I mean, like I said, it was a test piece and I need to do better because that looks a bit dicky. I mean, the flower, yeah, I did some balloon kisses and it brought up to look like really sunshiny colours. Um, it brought it up lovely, but sort of stuffed up a bit, so. But anyway, it's, a, it's not too bad uh, on this wood panel. Uh, took the, it's all fully dry now and it's resin, so it's just that I didn't get to film some of the processes and I didn't do a really good job of that arched window effect. There is a lovely artist that I've just uh, had come up in my feed. I'll try and find her name and that's doing a lot uh, with sten uh, like stencil work I guess. She kind of does a lot of like a me, a Veronica um, paintings. Anyway I'll try and find her link to her YouTube channel and I'll put it below in the first comment but anyway that's the finished product <laughs>